Let's set the table for this main event, Joe Martinez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live around the world from the UFC Apex here in Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the main event of the evening. Five rounds of action this scheduled in the UFC featherweight division. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the executive director is Bob Bennett. Chairman, Stephen J. Klubeck. The three judges scoring at Octagon side are Derek Cleary, Sal D'Amato, and Ron McCarthy. And when the action begins inside the Octagon, your referee in charge, Mark Goddard. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready, the fighters are ready, the world is watching, and they are ready. Las Vegas, Nevada, make some noise if you are ready! <laughs> Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's a freestyle fighter standing 5 feet 11 inches tall. Weighing at officially 145 and one half pounds, his record stands at 14 victories, two defeats, and one no contest. He is the ultimate fighter, Latin America season one winner, presentando el orgullo de Parral, Chihuahua, Mexico, the UFC's number three ranked featherweight contender, Jair El Pantera Rodriguez. And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. His background, Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu. At 5 feet 11 inches tall, he weighed in 146 pounds even. In 28 fights, his record, 22 victories with six defeats. He is the UFC's number one ranked featherweight contender fighting out of Wainae, Hawaii. Here is the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Max Plast Holloway! Okay, your earmax has been over the walls, you know exactly what I expect. Keep yourself protected. When I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch, now's the time. God bless you. On the short list, no question, in 2021 for the biggest non-title fights, most anticipated matchups. And it comes this afternoon at the UFC Apex, what many call the ninth island of Las Vegas. Max Holloway representing. Yair Rodriguez returns after two years away. Max Holloway is in the black. He is a huge favorite near minus 700. The heavy underdog, Yair Rodriguez, is in the green. Right hand got through. Center of the octagon controlled by Holloway. Rodriguez fighting a hole for some kicks here. Oh, Nicely down. done. Oh, up kick. Wow. I mean, that's what makes the idea so special. Right it's pushed quick. down on one leg. Great move by Max. But then kicks it from a down position and stands back up. Beautiful work. Holloway setting the record for significant strikes thrown in his last outing. It came in January on Fight Island against Calvin Cater. Tough to do it better than that over the course of 25 minutes. Says he wants to even top it today. You know, yeah, he is. You know, he's a vicious guy. You know, he's not going to be intimidated. And he keeps finding the mark with that right hand a couple of times now. Oh, nice. Right Stiff hand right jab cross. There. Max starting to go to the body. One thing I think we're going to see, though, is because of the, the meanness of Yair, Max isn't going to be able to stand in the pocket and do those long combinations that he's known for, like he did against Kelvin. Now, don't get me wrong, Kelvin hits hard as well. Ooh. But as the fight progresses and he breaks it down, then he can start putting oh, together. Oh, man. Heavy the leather. Wow. Man, Yair is just standing right in the yeah, pocket man. with Max right now. He's not intimidated at all. Max Holloway's in his 29th pro fight at 29 years old. He's never been knocked out. Ooh, that was nice. Throwing. Fainted the kick. And he came with two punches upstairs. Great work. And Yair is putting everything behind this. Good job there from Max, but nice leg kicks here from Yair. Max is landing, though. They're both landed. <laughs> yeah. With intensity. Oh. Hey. For five rounds. 
Yeah, he is doing a really good job of chopping away that leg, and as you say, five rounds. If he continues to do that mm. by rounds three, Max is going to have an issue with that lead leg. And we saw in the first Volkanovski fight that he had a lot of success with the leg kicks against Holloway. Uh -huh. mm. And it's sharp and it's powerful. And it's hitting the same spot every time. Ooh, nice wow. one, two from Yair. That calf kick is making it difficult for Max to really oh. go his rhythm right now. And Yair is starting to tee off. Yeah. Oh. Oh, right hand. That hurt Max. Oh. Oh. Rocks him with the right hand back. Oh, and now Holloway is starting to tee off. Yair is hurt. He's dazed. He's firing back. Cut opened up below the left eye. Faints yeah. a takedown as Holloway back to the center. 90 that was a seconds. Vicious one. right hand from Holloway that landed that opened that cut up on the eye ear. But these leg kicks are also vicious coming back from Rodriguez. Right hook to lead the dance. Holloway counters. Oh, Rodriguez with another combination. There's some swelling on the front of that shin of Holloway as he goes spin kick, puts himself in the grasp of Rodriguez. Do we get it to the ground in the first round? No, not quite, not quite. Good job from Holloway to keep on his feet. Going to try to fight those hands right now. Nicely done. Going to get that second on the back. Max is fighting the hands, going to try and turn into it. Stalemate along the fence. Holloway, wrist control. Rodriguez on the back. 30 seconds. Nicely done by Max. In a better position now. Let's see what Yair does for the last 20 seconds. He's trying to get the takedown. He's not coasting. Almost got it. Hoisted him up high. Max nice. with great battle. Fires back. Oh, oh, here goes Airborne. Look out for the up kicks. Oh, look out for the... Yep, yep. For the that groin. one got through though. Final five seconds, and they'll end it on the ground. Back and forth, first round. Rodriguez, the round. busier fighter, landing near 60 total strikes. One. We'll keep it here between rounds. What a round! Incredible action. Yeah, yeah, breathe. Yeah, breathe. <laughs> Just breathe, yeah, yeah. All right, buddy. Hey. Yeah, yeah, you're doing a phenomenal job when you're kicking them and you're controlling that range. No going straight back there. Make sure you're getting those angles. Yep, take a deep breath. Right now it's about catching your breath, getting your wits back here. Yep. Okay, so this highlight kind of sums up that first round, just a back and forth exchange between the pair of them. A very close round. Tremendous amounts of action. And here we go for round two. I mean, look at that. Back and forth they go. And as mentioned, Yair Rodriguez was the busier fighter. He attempted 97 total strikes. Did Yair in that first five minutes, landing 59. Max Holloway off his pace against Calvin Cater. Said he wanted to stay busy, don't stop. Top that last performance. It's the first time since he fought Volkanovski, the first time that he didn't win that first round. Well, the calf kicks, as we said in round one, they're going to start piling up, and Yair's going straight back to that well at the start of round two. And what that does is it opens up other attacks, because then you start to obsess over that lead leg, taking calf kicks, and then it'll, the kick comes upstairs. There's a nice job. Oh. Yair trying to get creative with the elbows. Yeah, faking that up elbow that he landed against Zombie. Look at the swelling redness on the right side of the abdomen of Holloway as well. Oh, kind of wow, seen yeah. on the profile shot there as he stands there. And Max keeps switching stances. Oof, right on those lower ribs. That's a couple of nice jobs. Yeah, beautiful job. Max still pressing forward. Nice check hook there from Rodriguez. Yeah, you know, Yair's having a great second round so far. He had a great first round as well. You know, and, and, and I think Max is like, hold on a minute. I got, I got a call for this. Holloway's on him now. Got to be careful he doesn't chase him, though. Just like yeah, the zombie. Yeah, that's when you get in trouble with somebody like Rodriguez. Yep, because you've run onto something you can crazy. You can tell he's already sick. 
big volume. We know Max can keep that pace. We've seen him do it before. Can Rodriguez sustain this type of pace throughout five rounds? Because Max isn't going anywhere easy, I can tell you that. Yes, He's sir. moving forward, pressuring as well. Certainly after two years off, Paul. I yeah. mean, there's no reason to think that he can't because this is a huge opportunity for him. You're going up against Max Holloway, one of the biggest names in the sport. Massive ramifications if you get the win. So one would think that he's prepared accordingly and pushed himself to the limit and got five rounds of training camp many times. Oh. However, however, when you're taking these kind of blows and you're trying to knock bring your opponent out with every shot, which you're probably not doing in training camp, is he still going to be there with the same intensity at round four? Because yeah, right now, He's fighting hard, really hard, and crushing that cap. But Max, he's eating them right now. I'm sure they're affecting him, but he's not showing it. Moving forward and landing his own combinations. Oh, he switched stances there. there. Now he's back in orthodox, and he's getting busier. A little more urgency from the former champion. That left leg is really starting to swell on Holloway. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. Max clashes in. Teddy Atlas watching along. Sees the same thing. Leg damage starting to add up. Yeah, he's, another one. He's been consistent with it too. He's got to just be a little bit careful though because he's getting hungry for it. He knows it's hurting Max and he's going to the well a bit. He's just got to be well, careful of the counter. Look at the earlier fight with Miguel Baeza and Chaos really went to oh, much. Up elbow, snuck in there from Rodriguez along the fence. But this is where Max needs it. He's going to back him up against the fence, but he's going to control the range and control the lateral movement of Yair. And once he gets him here, he's going to capitalize. So far, he's not. Yair's yeah. going side to side. He's finding openings. He's using unorthodox techniques, and he's finding the mark. One minute to go, round two. Holloway applying more pressure as Rodriguez escapes to the right. Another calf kick, but good body shot return there from Holloway. That's nice, but look at that movement, the elusive movement of Yair Rodriguez. It's really nice. Backs up, pivots off the fence, fires a shot. That's nice. Holloway walking him down. Flying oh, nice body that shot. Might hurt. A little bit of grappling here from Holloway. Couldn't tell if that knee hurt Rodriguez or not. But this is the type of pace that Holloway has got to keep on Rodriguez. Keep him up against the fence. Don't give him any space. Whoa, there it is. Rodriguez to his back in the final seconds. Holloway goes for a big one. There's the horn. Big response from Holloway, who closed the distance on striking numbers after 10 minutes. Three, three. Starting to wilt, huh? Yeah, starting not to down, you know. Yep, All right, use your water in. Get it done. All right. Okay, hey, five shots. Staying with them. All stuff is working, okay? See, I know sometimes you ding them and, 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 uh, and you feel like you hurt them and whatnot. Let's pull back on it a little bit. Let's go 50, 70 on the car for volume. Okay? When he goes up, starts bobbing and whatnot, just make sure you, you're, you're scoring them. Send me up there. Okay, let's take a look. This is one of the kicks that really did some damage to that calf. Followed up by a nice body shot from Holloway, but Yair really invested in that calf kick. Max still keeping the volume with the hands going, attacking the body and pressuring forward, more importantly. Even though it seems to be hurting him those legs, Max is never, oh man, there's another sneaky up elbow there from Rodriguez. My goodness. What a first two rounds. Holloway's corner believes they have the fresher fighter. Said Rodriguez starting to wilt. Yeah, they said that straight away at the start of the break. I'm not sure if I'm yeah, seeing we'll Rodriguez see. wilt, to be honest. And Rodriguez still trying to find that target in the left calf of Holloway. But now he operates out of the southpaw stance. Switches here. Nice! Beautiful work, backs him up against the fence, jumps in the air, flying knee connects. So this is good for Max, oh, yeah. that's what he's got to do. Take away the long range attacks, take away the real estate behind him so he can't move. Control him against the fence and do damage there. But Rodriguez still crushing that leg, moving forward himself. 
Feints the takedown as Holloway. It's a few I don't times know if, now Max has had I, to do that. I don't know if that was a feint, Brendan. You know, I, I think I, that was an attempt. I, yeah, it was an attempt, and it's a sign that. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Caught him off guard. A little jab, I think it was. But oh boy, he gets covered up as he it's tries hurt. to roll out of it. This is Holloway hammering away now. Hits. Max looking for the arm triangle. I mean, that's oh, not way. Three and a half to go. Plenty of time on the ground. Yair needs to be very careful. Nicely done. He was very aware of his surroundings, did the right thing. Now he's going to use the feet to push off the fence to reverse position. But Max he's got a his toes. This is a bad spot. Max in a great position here to really go to work here on Rodriguez. High mount for the former champ. And Max is patient. He's going to wait, turns his back, gets both hooks in. He's going to try to flatten him out here. Yaya goes back to his back. Wise move. Trying to keep two on one. Heavy shot there. Right on the jaw. Pick those shots on the way. Pick those shots. Slicing elbow. He's thinking about that head and arm choke. He's trying to soften him up with shots. Create the opportunity. Yeah, this is... This is trouble for Rodriguez, Max. Just riding him here, going from the back to mount seamlessly. You got two minutes and 30. Long time left in this third round as well. Rodriguez puts the right hand up to guard. Max has to time. Max is gonna be careful though, he's coming a little high. He can fall off the top, there it is, that's better. He adjusted his position there. These are good shots and he's taking his time. He's controlling the position. He's not oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. almost out. There it is. Max has got a great guillotine from this position. Holloway has not had a submission victory since 2015 when he tapped out Cub Swanson. Tries to swing to the back, not all the way there. Rodriguez surviving with 145 to go. Potential 10-8 round in the making. Rodriguez back to his feet. After taking a lot of damage, though. Oh, oh. Right left. Oh, my God. Oh, he's empty in the tank. Oh, Gotta watch his neck. Take down for Rodriguez, who now goes to work on top. Oh, what nice. a fight, man. Oh, incredible. Big knee. Oh, big right hand from Howard. I'm telling you, these guys cannot continue to fight like this without somebody going down because it's going to happen soon. The punishment they are putting on one another is incredible. Nice, nice, nice timing from Holloway there. Very nice, and a nice explosion. He knew that kick was coming, you saw it. And as soon as he even picked up his foot off the mat, Holloway was in on that takedown. Side control with Rodriguez on his left side, awkwardly against the fence. Max slides a knee to the body there with under 30 seconds to go in round number three. When Max is trying to drop elbows with that right hand. Yair knows it, he's controlling the wrist. Now it's free, now he can go to work. For the last 10 seconds. And both eyes of Yair Rodriguez now are becoming a swollen mess, unfortunately, here for him in the third round. A lot of that due to the ground and pound when Max was in that mount position. Big round for Blessed in round three. If that's a 10 8, that could really turn the tide. I don't know about a 10 8, if I'm honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, look at this beautiful fly knee lands right in the sternum. Just an incredible round, chipping away with the calf kicks, but he slips on that one. He goes down, and that was the start of a big momentum shift for Max Holloway. Yeah, he gets back up, lands a right left there that finds the jaw, and just firing back both of them. Incredible will to win from both men. Sensational round, and there's that big explosive power double. Drives right. And Holloway is known to get better as the fight continues. Start around four. As I say, a big momentum shift in round three there. But it's a new round. 
60 seconds of rest. Oh, Max is trying to take him down. Trying to go straight back to that well. <laughs> Pretty gnarly cut you saw in the corner for Yaya Rodriguez. Big shots from Holloway. I'll tell you what, yeah, you really talked about wanting to finish this fight. And you can tell, I mean, that's his only goal. He's throwing everything with fight ending intentions, but Max is just so damn durable, so consistent with his performances, moving forward, landing shots, and finding a way into the fight no matter how hurt he gets. Yeah, and that's the key, no matter how hurt he gets, because he's been hurt on multiple occasions, but he's not backed off, he's not danced around, he's not tried to take a few seconds to gather his thoughts. He's just gone straight back in every time. Callaway pressure body. again. Closing the distance, Rodriguez covered up along the fence. This is where Max oh, is taking lead. over against the fence. Looking for that jump. Wow, standing oh. 18 for That's Holloway tight. right now. Thought about a pretty Down good they go. Well, and they pulled out for Holloway. Go. Rodriguez nice. scrambling. Nice guard word by Rodriguez. Max getting to show off his grappling tonight. This isn't something we get to see too often, but you see how well-rounded he really is. If he's forced to have to take you down, use his jiu-jitsu, he's just as good there. Great ground and pound, using his elbows, Ooh. really trying to inflict damage. Rodriguez still dangerous off of his back, though. Yeah, a lot of the times when we see Max Holloway, like the two fights with Jose Aldo, they, they finish on the ground because he beats them up and he beats them down, literally to Whoa. the ground. And then from there, you see some glimpses of the ground apart and the ground game that he has. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Rodriguez tried to lock up that heel of Holloway. Tough to do it at this point in the fight. Well, I mean, this is a bad position for Rodriguez here. He's got his back to Holloway. Holloway's in full control here. He's just got to try and get a little separation. Oh. Nice guard work. Good rotation by Rodriguez. Max controls the legs. Watch the up kicks. Passes the guard like butter. And he's almost in full mount. Once he gets that foot over. Pick the shots, Holloway. Guy out saying, pick your shots. And he's clearly doing that. I mean, there on that. And you can hear the thud. You can hear the sickening Absolutely. thud of when he connects. Rodriguez gives up the back now. Almost two minutes to work on the ground for Holloway. Rodriguez once again back oh, to his nice feet. Knees. You can't question the toughness. No, you cannot, of both men. But it's amazing to see Max getting off to, you know, what was a somewhat shaky start to show what he is made of. You know, to take some of the shots that he did and now to turn the tide. The momentum shift in rounds three and four is incredible. Oh, don't turn your back. Was that an eye poke? There. Holloway seemed to acknowledge it as soon as he threw it. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a replay to the left eye of Rodriguez. You see the damage. Uh, the thumb. That was an accident. That's a win the fist. Yeah, the fist. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You see me all right? Yeah. Let's just check, all right? Let's just check. <clears throat> Ringside physician will Just enter tell me the there's octagon. no injury, Doc, that's all. Oh, no, it's all good. Completely accidental. Oh. Getting controlled for quite a bit of time. He's still coming up. Showing that endurance, showing that heart. Both these guys really laying it on the line tonight. Yeah, listen, this is an absolute war. You know, this Ooh. is going to have a lasting effect on both of their careers. Spin from Max. Rodriguez dodges the heavy damage. Final Little 10. Peak at the clock. Another flying knee from Rodriguez. Some big shots in an uppercut. We head to the fifth.
and final rounds between these featherweights. All right, we got to finish this guy, Yair. We got to finish him. Let's get unorthodox. Let's get off the game plan. Let's go for whatever it takes, Yair. Let's create some sort of movement and get you into, this, in, into any corner position where you can take advantage of him. It doesn't matter what you do right now, Yair. You're just attack this guy for the next five minutes, brother. Yes. Okay, you hold. Yeah, think phase one out, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Don't don't have to go phase one finish, phase one out. Yes, sir. Let's do this. One more. Yes, sir. Super focus. Okay, let's go. Don't this, don't give this guy an inch. You heard the corner instructions, Paul, from Yaya Rodriguez. I love that. You need a finish, but not only that, abandon the game plan. Get creative. Go nuts. You could argue that's when Yaya's at his best. Absolutely. We saw it in the zombie fight. It's just you get pressured forward. You throw up crazy elbows like he does or flying knees or kicks. Yeah. I think at this point, the calf kick, forget it. You got to move past that. Well, at this moment as well, with a guy like Max Holloway, as good as he is, you can't have a set game plan. Right now, it's fight on instinct. Ooh. Look at what Max is giving you. Fight back with just pure heart, instinct, ability, and just go for it. You know, because I agree with the corner. Max is ahead. If he doesn't get a finish this round, Max wins this fight. A classic that it is, of course. But it's yeah, still, still a clear win for, for yeah. Holloway. I yeah, well, think it's 3-1 Holloway, but Yaya Rodriguez. He's going for still it. Still throwing with power here in the fifth and final round. And after two years away, what a return for Yaya Rodriguez to the octagon. And it was the opposite in the corner of Yaya, I mean, excuse me, of Max Holloway, where they're saying he's going to come out, he's going to be dangerous. Stick, stick to the game. Be super, super focused is what they want from Holloway. I mean, look at this, though. Look at the pressure from Max. Not right, stop perfect. punches, follows him with the knee. Significant strikes, over 200 now for Holloway, as we just showed you. Rodriguez, 180, and how about an elbow with a back fist on the way out? Man, the chin on Holloway, incredible. Oh, it's both crazy. guys, really. Yeah, both guys, but Max is taking some shots tonight and has not looked phased at all. Nope, just moves forward, business as usual. Yep. Is that, but that's what we signed up for. It is what it is, as Max would say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I don't like this body language from Yair. We've seen this before. He's been in the fifth round. He's got to one second until I count him out, that's for sure. Or is no seconds, I should say. Also oh, zero. nice. Creative combination there. We have seen Yair kind of abandon that calf kick on the left side of Holloway. After the damage was starting to yeah, add in those early rounds. Because that was at the start of the fight, he was able to stand some ground. And he had the ability and the space to land the calf kick. When you're getting beaten up against the fence, when you're getting pounded on the ground, you haven't really got the ability to land calf kicks. Oh. Oh. Look at that. But this high is bad. risk, high reward for Rodriguez. Didn't work out for him, and now Holloway goes back to work on top of two and a half to go in the fight. Yeah, pure sacrifice technique there. I mean, it's great if it lands, but if you don't, you sacrifice a position. And that's not what you want to do in the fifth round. Top half for Holloway. And he's got that far side underhook. He can really hold on to Yair here. He's in that half guard. Look at Beautiful that. reversal. Oh, Rodriguez! Guillotine attempt. If nothing else, just to improve position. Nice job by Rodriguez. Two minutes to go. Max on an arm. Yair stays on top, looking for the neck. Max fighting the hands well. Up to his feet. Man, this is super exciting competitive fight between these guys. Look for the spin. Oh. Spinning elbow for and Rodriguez. How does Holloway just eat these shots? Keep going. Yeah, and a nice knee to the liver as well. Oh, that's, I think that's a cut above the right eye of Holloway that's leaking pretty bad. Kind of see it protruding. He's got the guard up. Oh, my goodness. Combination for Rodriguez. 
Yair Rodriguez owns the latest finish in UFC history at 4.59, around 5. Came against the Korean Zombie in late 2018. Does he have another rabbit to pull out of the hat? He has an opportunity. Time, time. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. We're not going to go. We're going to take our time. You got poked in the eye, okay? Relax. Yeah. No cornering. No cornering. Stay right there, my friend. Just Max. Take a look. Look at me. You okay? Uh, oh, yep. You can see yeah, yeah, the finger of Rodriguez connects. Turn around, you're here. Keep your hand closed. Look at that cut. Good, Max. Let's go. Yeah, I was going to say, Yair has an opportunity. They have 50 seconds. They're in the open. I mean, to land something crazy, that Hail Mary, that come from behind victory. But we've seen it before. And Max has relented the pressure a little bit. Nice elbow from Yair. Solid job. I mean, Yair knows he's got to get a finish here. 30 seconds. Clinch in the center. Attempt at a trip takedown for Rodriguez. And Max defended oh, well. Ben, spin kick for Rodriguez, and now they clinch once again. Time to run it out. The spinning kick was close. Final 10 seconds. This featherweight bout lived up to it, and then some. You knew it was going to be good. Two warriors. Max Holloway and Yair Rodriguez go the distance to a crowd that has rose to its collective feet inside Everybody. the UFC apex. Everybody is on their feet. I mean, what an incredible fight, a display of martial arts, hearts, will. I mean, the damage that both people took, I'm blown away. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, like you said, Michael, too, from both guys. I mean, Yair was in this fight the whole time, fighting for a finish. Max just took over, used his grappling, used his experience, but took some damage, man. He was in a fight. Yeah, rounds one, two, and five were pretty close. Three and four, Max took over, got some ground damage here. And here we see them just trading calf kicks at the start of the fight. Some body shots from Max. I mean, we saw almost every type of strike thrown. Elbows, spinning kicks. Of course, the boxing fundamentals were on display as well. Elbow here mm. from Ooh. Yair that found the mark. Flying knee to the sternum. <sighs> Yair comes back with the right oh, left. Guys, just nice back and forth, man. <sighs> what else is there to say? I mean... Well, I was going to say, not only every type of strike, we saw submission attempts, we saw yeah. takedowns from Holloway, career best. His previous was two. They gave him three. This was great for Max. I mean, he really, really got pushed, had to dig deep, got cut, you know, really bloodied up, flying knees, up elbows, submission attempts. Both these guys laid it all on the line here in this fight. I mean, they should both be proud of their performances this evening, this afternoon. And you said Max was in a fight. I'm trying to think of the last time Max has shown this much damage after a fight, right? Usually he's so yeah. clean and crisp on the striking numbers. He was that today as well, but he's got some battle scars after this one. Ground control time more than five minutes. You can see the significant head strikes in favor of Holloway. Those leg kicks were starting to add up for Rodriguez early in the fight. Certainly. Keep your eye on Yair Rodriguez, and what a way to return to action after two years away. But Max Holloway and Yair Rodriguez go the distance. All that's left today is the official decision with Joe Martinez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Here are the totals. 49-46, 48-47, and 48-47. All for your winner by unanimous decision, Max Bull!